Hey guys, well, uh, and I'm going to start a new tutorial now. In this tutorial, I'll be talking about uh, pathfinding, A-star pathfinding. Usually, every time before I got to know how to do pathfinding, I always try to search online, and I don't really get when it comes to reading. And I'm pretty sure most of uh, people, most mostly people out there don't know how to, don't know either. I mean, usually I'm a visual learner. Yeah, I learned from that, and, and I'm pretty sure there's other people like that as well. And every time I always have searched through YouTube, I always there's pathfinding that people already have done, and they just show it to you. But there's there isn't really a, a video showing you how to start it from scratch and everything like that. And that's what I'm gonna do right now. I'm gonna show you the simplest way to do pathfinding, a star, and you can always build it from there and make it better more smarter and stuff like that so we'll start it and first of all we'll create a header file we'll not create a cpp file you don't really need it and create a oh, hold on quick and and call it either search cell or whatever you want to call it and by cell i mean like grid we can be talking about grid coordinates and stuff like that you know it's a grid or a cell square or whatever you could either call it a grid cell, a search grid, or whatever you want to call it, but I'm going to call it search cell. And once you created it, let's include, um, include, or number include, include the math.h file, and then we'll create a struct, and like I said, I'm going to call it search cell. Okay, we're gonna be kind of public. And inside of here, we're gonna create an int, the x coordinate, x, or well, I'm gonna call it x chord, as an x coordinate, and z coordinate. Since our coordinates gonna be from x and z axis, since that's where our ground is gonna be at, usually it's never on the y axis, unless I'm wrong. We'll create an int id. Well, can you? Yeah, might as well. well I, I want to try to keep it this way. I don't know. X coordinate and Z coordinate. We'll create um, a parent or search cell. A pointer to the parent. And we'll have um, a float G, and we don't know what a G is. Basically, it's the accumulated distance from the start node and the current node that you're at. We'll have a float H, which is the heuristic, and you don't know what a heuristic is. It's basically, the est estimated distance to the goal. And we'll have um, create a constructor. I mean, yeah, yeah construct. Oh, come on. Create a, con a constructor. A search cell. And we'll have the parent equals zero. And if you don't know what this means right here, parent parentheses zero zero, it's basically. Um, the same way as writing it here, parent equals zero, and taking this off. It's the same thing as calling it like that, so either way it will work. We'll have um, another constructor, search cell, and this will contain a little bit of information inside, passing an int x. And in Z for our coordinates, we'll have a search cell. I don't even know how to suppose search cell. Search cell pointer parent. Or well, since make an underscore parent. And then I set that equal null. 
or zero, I guess, since we the same thing as no. And we'll pass in the x coordinate to equal the x. The m z coordinate. So equal the z, the parent, wait, it's the other way, parent, to equal the, the parent, and we will set the id, what's m id, to equal the the x times the world size plus x that would be the id for the cell the g will equal zero of course when he started it would be zero h and equals zero and that will be all for this one and the world size we don't have to define it but world size is depending on what world what's the size of your world and that's what you can put in here so just so you can make it work then I'm just gonna put it here but whatever your world size you just put it there um let's see real quick so okay and then we can have a float to our get our F and basically the F is the the is is the G plus the H added together? So you just return the H or G plus H. We can have a um, a float get a a function called Manhattan distance. If you don't know what Manhattan distance is. It's basically the distance from the, your current, the distance from the current cell to the to the target position cell, and it's going to be added all the way to the x, all the x's, and all the y's, and that's the Manhattan distance. Pass in the search node, or search cell, I mean, and just call it a node n. And we can uh, pat, we can uh, go and put in some information here. Uh, float x x will equal the float cast as a float of f abs the uh, absolute value of this x coordinate. If I get it right, x coordinate. Minus the node M and X coordinate the float Z will be the same exact thing, but as a Z remember let's change it to Z. And we'll return the x plus z. And that will be all for our search cell. Um, after that, um, create a create our create another class, call it path. I'm going to call it pathfinding. I don't know what, whatever you want to call it, whatever. But I'll be calling it pathfinding. Alright, in your path finding header file, we'll want to include our vector. Include the vector of file. Okay, well, in, and then in, inside the class, we'll want to create a function called void find path. And we'll pass in a 
vector 3, I mean, vector 3, current position, and vector 3, target position. Basically, this uh, function was basically it's gonna set our current position and our and our goal position or target position. And by current position, I mean the current position of your AI or enemy. So that's what you're gonna pass in here. And so make this real quick. Whatever better class you have, then you just include it. So it could actually work. Um. We'll create another vector that will return a vector 3. And that will be the next path position. Next path pause. And basically, this um, function will grab our first position from our, from our shortest path in the list. We're going to have three simple functions call it, call it clear open lists which are clear our lists we haven't called this function yet I mean this open list yet but we will at, at the bottom so I'll just clear it and create uh, I'll just write it real quick clear visited list and clear it the M visited list. And yeah, don't worry about it. We haven't called it yet, but we will eventually. So just write it for now. And create another one to clear our it's not visited on uh, path. Um what can we call it? Path to go. And basically the path to go is basically the ones that can be that we can pass in the shortest path and there could be vector std vectors if you don't know what that is just search it online or google it or something you will let you know if you don't know what std vector is we can have a boolean that was oh my god not again uh, so we'll, which will set our which will which will no, not call it, which will initialize our not initialize it will check if it's if the start and end goal has been initialized and we'll have another boolean just that will that will, that will see if we we have found the goal. And after this one, create private. All of these from the bottom will be private. We can have a function called void set start start and set start and goal, which is pretty explanatory. But will, this is the function that will set our start and goals goal cells. So passing the search cell. Of start and a search cell of end or goal, whatever you want to call it. We have another function called path open. And we'll pass in an int x and int z. A float for new cost and a search cell parent pointer to parent and basically this path open is basically um, we'll check if the current cell is in the open list so that's what it's going to be checking We're gonna have another function that will return a search, a search cell and pointer, and we call it the get next cell. And it's pretty explanatory. 
What the heck is this, dude? You know what? I'm just gonna leave it there. Get get next cell. And like I said, it's pretty explanatory, which will get our next available cell and list. We'll have another function that will be called continue path. And this basically this function is it's gonna be searching through our through our world and we'll expand our cells or our, our position and we'll find our target position and in the same function we'll also calculate the G and H values okay um, we'll have a uh, create objects or search cells pointer to and this will be called um, M start cell this is the starting cell you can have another one that will be our end cell or goal cell our goal we can create std vectors of search cell pointers in oh, I'll explain it after and call it an M open list or whatever you want to call it as long as you know what I'm talking about we create another std vector or search cells as well pointers and call it um, visit list and another one that will be vectors or vector pointers and this is the one that be that will pass in the list we'll, in, we'll get our shortest path from and will be included in the list and call it an path goal path to go and basically that's it for our header I mean our header file for pathfinding uh, in the next tutorial I mean the next tutorial I mean in the next video I'll show you um, what to put in the CVP file so I'll see you guys there right